What it do now? Josh here with the Pride Productions back in UE4 with the material tutorial number 31, a 31st one. We're gonna make some we're gonna make a little hot lava floor, bro. We're gonna make a little hot, hot lava with I got this little lake looking place out here. And it's, it's gonna be a pretty simple tutorial, but we're gonna we're gonna teach you how to take some textures and manipulate them certain ways, you know what I'm talking about? Make that big white puddle out there, a big old pool of lava, bro. You know what I'm talking about? And guys, I just wanna say that I'm happy to be back. You know what I'm talking about? We'll be back full time from here on out, baby. It's been a busy summer, but it's come to a close, bro. All right, anyway, check it out. You got this material all over my landscape. The, the material ju literally just consists of these two textures right here, and then some noise. You know what I'm saying? They, the, the, the material that comes in the starter content. Well, we're going to take just those two materials, the texture and the normal. We're going to make our own material, okay? So we're going to make a material right there and name it lava. Lava, not lava. Okay, and we're gonna basically make a lava with these two. We're gonna manipulate these tex textures to make like a lava floor, kind of cracked, fiery, blah, blah, blah. Let's double click. Okay, you know what I'm talking about jumping there. UE4 doesn't know how we do for some reason, so let's move it over. We go right here, hold shift and click both of those. Drag them over to this window, boom. We've done this a million times. And just to make sure we got everything moving, make sure everything's working, plug that in a base collar, plug this into normal, save it, go back to it, don't be afraid. And let's jump in and drag Drag lava on the plane here. Boom, baby. We got this rock floor. That's not That's not what we want, but we're getting started. Now, I'm going to tell you right now before we do anything, bro. You need to get yourself a texture coordinate, okay? Plug it into both of these bad babies. Set it to maybe uh, number three. Let's do three and three. You know what I'm talking about? Make sure they're both set to number three. And we're kind of just dividing it. You know, we, we've done this before. Just making it a little bigger, a little smaller. But but bigger, okay. Now let's get started. Now here's the thing. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be messing with a couple parameters. We're gonna mess with the base collar and the emissive. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna plug this into emissive down here. You know what I'm talking about? And I'm gonna grab another one, okay? We'll grab another Control C, Control V. Make sure the texture coordinates plugged into that bad baby, and plug it in like that. Now unplug that because that's not how it's gonna work, okay? But the point is, I'm gonna need all three of those. I'm just making my life a little easier. Now what I want before we do anything is I want this texture to be a little darker. Now we're talking about manipulating our images. Now a couple of these tricks we already know. I can take the texture itself and multiply it by a number between zero and one. And it's gonna be either either black, like no collar, or full collar. I almost set it to 0.3. I'm basically just darkening it a little bit. You know what I'm talking about? You know, make it a little dark, and you can see now that it'll be a little bit darker. Not a huge difference, but a pretty big difference. And the reflection and everything's not really helping. We'll fix that in a second. Okay. Now while we're on the subject, let's talk about what we want to do with this bad baby with the emissive collar. I'm going to explain to you something, okay? I want you to drag a line right here and type in 1 minus, okay? Now, that's the negative. Now, if we plug that into base collar, let's just plug in a base collar. We're going to go over here. Uh, it's, it's white. And, and what's going on? It's, it's a negative of this image. And this image, it, it, you're like, I, I don't get it, bro. It doesn't make sense. And it doesn't matter which one of these you plug it into. You're going to get that white. You get that white, okay? I'm going to take it out. Hold Alt and get rid of that. Dra drag a line, type in the word power. Get a little power for you, bro. Okay? I want you to plug that power into the base collar. Now, you're not going to see much of a difference because that power needs to be turned up, bro. Hold the number one and click and plug into the exponent. Now, I want you to set this to about 50. Let's set it to 50. Boom. Okay, wait a minute. Now, see what's going on there. We got a black image, but like in between where it was probably darker, now we got some white images. Let me explain what's going on there. If I set it to 25, it's going to be a little more white, right? But if I set it to 200, it's almost gone, okay? We'll leave it at 50 for now, okay? You look at, like I said, look, let's look at another small one, another 30, okay? A lot, a lot of white lines there. You're like, well, bro, I kind of like that. Well, if you want to, you would toy with it however you want, okay? That's the point. Now, check it out. Let's save and go back. And again, I'm kind of building this tutorial or building this material as this tutorial goes along so you're gonna have fun and we're gonna have fun okay so we're, we're gonna we're, we're doing fun stuff okay now I, I like what we got there we got a little we got a cool idea there you already see where we're going with it but the reflections and stuff got to go right so let's go ahead and get rid of those let's let's hold the number one let's hold the number one and you know what plug them both plug this plug this one number into roughness and metallic set it to 0.75 because i want it to be more metallic and more rough bro and I'm not trying to be super precise right now. I'm just trying to kind of get rid of some of the nonsense. There we go. There we go. I like what we got, bro. But again, we're not plugging that into the base collar, okay? That's actually going to go into emissive, okay? Let's talk about that in a second. Let's plug this bad baby back in here. Before we can plug this into emissive, we need another, we need a multiply node, bro. And we need to plug this power into the multiply. And what we need 
It's a collar. Hold the number three and click. And we got a collar, right? Okay, we're, 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 we're running out of room, bro. We're, we're running out of room, and I, I, it's making me nervous, okay? So I'm going to move everything down a little bit, and I'm going to plug this into a missive. Now, obviously, that's not going to do much. So let's let's pick a collar, bro. And I'm thinking like that orangey yellow, like an orangey yellow kind of like that. I like, okay, okay. I like what's going on there, but we need it to be shining, bro. We got, we're get, hold M again. Get another multiply. Sorry. It's going to be all, uh, another multiply. Hold the number one, plug it in, and plug that into the emissive. Let's set that up to about 30, bro. Oh, now you're like, wait a minute. Wait, it's too much. That's easy to fix, bro. Go to the panner or the, the power, the power, the power. And go back to the fitty. We said the fitty said about a buck 20, okay? Okay. Oh, oh, there we go. That's a little better, okay? Got rid of a little more of that white, bro. Let's save it and see what we got going on out here on the outside. Out here in the editor. Okay, okay, okay. Now, see, you can tell we've got our material, the base collar, which is the really dark asphalt. You know what I'm talking about? And we got the lava coming in, coming to life, okay? To life, life, okay? Let's go back in here and let's keep going. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm not done yet. Let's drag this back here a little bit. Oh, God, not this. Now, keep that over here. And we're going to need, oh, you know what? I'm, I need another multiply, okay? I just hold M, get another multiply, and we're going to plug this into emissive. And now you're going to be like, well, nothing. Okay, check it out. Check it out. We're going to add a little glow to it. We've done this before. Get our little time node. Plug into a sign node, but not like, not like a sign. You know, but but like a but but like a wave. Type in the word bias, B I A S, and plug that in here. Now we got a little glow fading in and out. Now the sound's gonna change the speed. Sit at number two, bro. Slow it down. I like that. Maybe one point eight, cause I'm real picky. Okay. Now what we're gonna do? We're gonna set this to one point five and set this to about ten. Okay. We're gonna get a little little glowy. Low glowness. Okay, I like that. I like what's going on there, but I ain't gonna lie. After looking at it, we got a lot of lines in there again. I'm gonna go back to our power. That's back above 120, set it to 150. Okay, like that. There we go. There we go. See, I'm, I'm slowly adjusting this as we go along because I'm literally just building it while we're here, bro. You know what I'm talking about? Building it while I'm here. Okay, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I like, oh, I like that. I like that. I like what we're doing there. See, you can see how sometimes like certain parts of the floor light up because they're not bright enough, but other parts are, and it's all kind of sexy. You know what I'm talking about? We ain't done just yet, honey. I want to talk to you about something. Now, if we click on this texture and you double click on it, you'll notice if you click here on the channels, red, white, and red, green, and blue, and we've talked about it, it has an alpha channel that's actually a height map built into it. Now, that, not all textures are going to be like that. Some alphas are just going to be a white map, but this one does actually have a height map in the alpha, which means I'm going to double click right here, bro. I'm going to double click. I'm going to drown down. We're going to go to the tessellation, right? We'll go to the flat tessellation. We'll add that tessellation. Now, we're going to need a multiply node, okay? Not like we've needed a bunch of those or nothing. I'm going to grab the alpha map of either one of the textures. Make sure not the normal, but either one of these two up here, right? The asphalt, bro, the the the, the rock, okay? And we're going to type in word. Vertex. Oh, oh, oh. Ver oh, God. Oh, God. And the tie -dye. Vertex normal goes in the top. And then what we need to well, we need another... We need another multiply. Sorry, we need one more. That's it. That's the last multiply. Hold the number one, click it in there, and then drag this into world displacement. Now, we let's hold number one one more again and plug it into, oh God, it disappeared. Oh God, it's back. Plug it into the multiplier here, the tessellation multiplier. Now, I'm going to set this to 10, which is way too high. I probably said three or four, probably didn't make a difference, but that's just kind of like making the edges a little roundier, bro. But this, our number, is the actual tessellation, and it's set to zero. So we're going to have to fix that. So let's set it to about 25. Now, if you look at my balls, they look like they have a good bit of tessellation on them. You know, kind of little harpies. And like, what's cool, what's cool about that is it, it kind of gives it that rocky look. Now, what's cool is we're using that same texture coordinate. But if we wanted to, we could use another texture coordinate. We could grab it, bring it over here, add another thing to it. But it's cool. I want it to go along with the rock. Now, here's the problem. And I'm going to explain this to you. It's very important we go over this. It looks good on my balls, bro. But it may not look good on this plane. Now, if we look at the plane, you really can't even see it. But if you go underneath, you can kind of see it's trying to do some work there a little bit. But that's that's not going to do it. We'll talk about that in a second. Right now, let's just set it up to a buck fifty. You know what I'm talking about? A buck hundo. A buck thou monies. Now, we got all kind of rivets. Now, it looks terrible. Look at my balls. Now, let's save it. Let's go back. Okay, everybody just relax, and let's look at it here. Let's come up a little bit. Okay, okay, that's definitely a little prettier. Let's press, oh, God, what have I done? I deleted. Press G to get out of game mode. 
We can go in here. There, get into game mode or out. Both. A little both. Let's go around here and look. You can see kind of up against the walls. You can see it's really uh, it's really good here. Really good. You can see. You can see that the tessellation is working. It may not be perfect. Now, there's a reason that we have to turn it up so high to make it work, and that is actually the model itself. It's just the plane. That's all it is. It comes with the starter content. So if we go right click, go to the asset, and go to the plane, you may not be able to see this window, but it tells me how many triangles it has. And it only has 34, bro, or 32, bro. I had to g get close to my screen because I'm looking at it. And it I was only got 32. That's not a lot. So it's trying to tessellate this image over 32 triangles. That's it. This giant plane only cut into 32 little triangles. We need hundreds and hundreds if you wanted to get a really good look. But we're going to leave it the way it is for now. You know what I'm talking about. It still looks freaking sweet. And now we can F11, Alt-P, run around here. Oh, God. Now, I wanted to talk to you about that, too. Based off the way that I've got the map built, it's not always going to look right. That is the tessellation. And that's because I did this wrong. I've got a plane just sunk under a freaking landscape, and you would never, ever really do it like that. This would be part of the model. You'll be able to tell now if I go down here, if I click on this, unplug these. Well, you don't even have to unplug them. Just keep you scroll down and turn the tessellation off. Go back to no tessellation and save it. You'll notice now that that bug will no longer be there. You know what I'm talking about? So if you go back and play, everything's cool, bro. Everything's cool. You know what I'm talking about. But the point is, you know, the tessellation makes it look cool. If you don't like it, that's fine. But honestly, the point is, you would never, ever, ever do it the way I did it. Let's click on that again. Go back to tessellation if I can find it. There it is. Now go back, set it back to flat. So set it back to flat, bro. Save it. And again, it's hard on resources. We've talked about tessellation several times. We've talked about all these parameters several times. But... The point is, you would never just have like a flat plane. This would be part of your landscape. You know what I'm saying? So you 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 can't be cheap and be using tessellation. And also the crack displacement, crack free displacement helps a lot with certain things. But we'll talk about more. We'll talk more about that later. This is literally just for this. You may not even need the tessellation. That's up to you. It looks great without it. But again, do not just set a plane inside of a a hole in your landscape and expect it to work correctly. It's, it's, that's, that's never going to happen, so you can't do it like that. But the point is, making these types of materials is an absolute... It's an, ab it's an absolute yes. It's an absolute yes, okay? That's what it is. Guys, thanks for watching. Josh here with the Pride Productions with Material Tutorial in UE4 number 31. We got all kind of 31. We got all kind of Material Tutorials. Guys, I'm back. I'm live. I'm, I'm live. I'm, I'm loving it. I love you. I miss you. And again, I know I've been really busy, and I'm sorry. Post-COVID. You thought COVID was bad. Post-COVID was a lot worse. And now we got some lava. La, 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 lava floor. You know what I'm talking about? And we probably learned it. We've, we've, we've done a lot of Material Tutorials, guys. We've learned a lot of cool stuff. So this is just kind of adding to our knowledge, you know what I'm saying? Adding to the knowledge base. But I'm, I'm but it's going to be fun to be back back at it. We have to talk to you guys regularly again every day. I'll jump on here and say, hey, uh, a couple tutorials every week, back to normal, loving you, missing you. Loving you, missing you, want to be on you. Guys, hit up the YouTube channel, subscribe to Deprive Productions, Facebook Deprive Productions, um, itch.io for our game, SoundCloud, Bandcamp, all the descriptions, all the links are in the description of the video. I apologize. Check us out, man. Follow us. Hit us up. Get some free music. Buy our EP. If you want to support us, it's $3. You know what I'm saying? We have a couple EPs out. They're $3. You know what I'm saying? But guys, it's going to be fun to be back. So sorry for my absence the last couple months. Summer was crazy. But here we go. We got some lava. We're back in UE4 and Deprive Productions is back at it full speed. So get ready. We got all kind of cool stuff coming. Until next time, peace.